Hello there and welcome to another photo adventure. Today we're out to the beautiful Staffs Worcester Canal. Just a little turn round. First photograph is going to be of the little lock house. Beautiful place. There is a couple of barges moored up. You can see one just here. There's usually a couple just round the bend up there. So yeah, join me for a foggy day on the canal. It looks stunning. So, first composition is going to be the lock house. A beautiful little swan here. He's in away, he's going mad. I think I'm in his territory, so he's telling me where to go, I think. Look at him. Beautiful thing, beautiful. I'm just setting up. It's going to be a simple shot, this is. Um, the lock house is just going to be centre frame. There is a, a little bit of ripple, I was hoping for a better reflection on the water. But the, there must be a little bit of breeze now, which means the fog's going to lift soon. So I'm going to have to get a move on, I think, and uh, get my shots and then move up the canal. Uh, beautiful little scene, this though. I'll just get the camera set up and I'll talk you through the composition. Well, as I said, it's just a simple composition, this. Um, I'll just brighten the image up a bit for you. They're blowing it out. Um, I'm literally just focused on the house and it's just a, a very simple shot I'm shooting at f11 I'm at ISO 100 and that is just giving me 0.3 of a second um, exposure on the shutter speed and it looks absolutely stunning let's take the shot and there it is beautiful foggy scene there is there's a better reflection than I was up before really um, it is just a, a simple composition I'm just I'm trying to balance out the railings on the left hand side with the, the handle on the lock um, and I've just put the house bang in the centre of the frame I may even crop it down I may even take, set the aspect ratio shortly and take this as a 16 by 9 in fact I think I'm going to um, just see what it looks like to do this just come find your aspect ratio in your menu click on 16 by 9 back into live view refocus take the shot as a 16 by 9 beautiful scene beautiful
Time for a walk up the canal. The boat house here does look absolutely beautiful. Uh, the boat house, the lock house. Um, it's well photographed. Um, I've got beds, so I've just come out for a, it's Christmas Eve, so a Merry Christmas to everybody who's watching. Uh, just come out this morning, I saw the fog, and I just thought I'm going to walk Betsy along the canal. Um, I have been loving the fog of late. There's another video that I took, um, when was it, a couple of days ago, in the fog, which will probably be on after this one. Uh, I'll just put this one on, being Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, so. I'll probably edit this today and put it on tonight, so Merry Christmas for tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I thought with the fog, I'm going to come down the canal and uh, see what I can get down here. It is such a beautiful little place. This canal, Staff's Worcester Canal, I'm actually just, uh, just outside Kimber. I probably am in Kimber. Um, spent many an hour down here fishing. So peaceful, just beautiful here it is. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got a little barge here, moored up. Just gonna walk past and try a shot. So yeah, join me shortly. My next composition is just this little boat, this little barge. Um, there's nothing for the background really, a bit farther up the canal we've got some lovely trees. Um, the lock house is just in the distance, which probably won't see with the fog. But it's just a nice little scene. So you've got the towpath running down in the right hand reel of thirds. I'm just positioning the boat, it literally running on a diagonal on the centre square of the reel of thirds. Um, it just looks a nice, pretty little scene. So, again, my settings are f11. I've just underexposed a third of a stop and I'll take the shot. Two second timers on. Ah, still set of 16 by 9. So I'm now going to just change the aspect ratio back to 3 to 2. Just refocus back on the barge. Let's get the shot as a 3 by 2. There you go. Stunning. There's a tree. On the other bank, I think it's an oak tree. Oh, I've got a big heron flying over now as well. There's an oak tree, it's on the bank up here, that usually gives a good reflection. I'm going to get the shot, and then I can see another barge in the distance. So, <coughs> yeah, I'll talk us through this shot shortly. Beautiful old oak tree. Proper gnarly. Usually, when you get a, a calm day, you get a fantastic reflection on the water of this. But there is a ripple right where the tree is. There's a breeze blowing straight up the canal, which is a shame. Um, I will just show you the shot and uh, talk you through it. So, here's the shot. Um, I've just lined up the tree and the reflection straight onto the line on the right hand rule of thirds. Um, the path is running diagonally, not straight across the, the frame, but it is on the diagonal line running up to the centre of the frame, which is going to help as a leading line, the same with the edge of the towpath. Leading line up the uh, canal, and we have this tree in the right hand rule of thirds. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. I just wish it was a, just a little bit calmer to get a better reflection, but uh, it should still look beautiful anyway. Absolutely beautiful place this. Just been up to the next boat while they're up. Um, it, it doesn't look that much. Um, it's one of these uh, trawler boats where they collect all the rubbish and stuff out the canals and cut trees down and everything else. So I'm not going to bother with that one, but what I am going to do is walk back down to the lock house and go down the other side of the canal and take a shot of the lock house from the other side. 
the first boat that I photographed, I'm just walking back towards it, and they've lit the fire in there. Um, there's a little bit of smoke just coming out the chimney on the canal now, on the on the canal on the barge. So I may try and photograph this just from the other side, just out a different photograph to the one I've took already. And uh, yeah, let's have a little look and see what it looks like. If not, I'll see you down past the lock. Here we are, the bottom of the lock. And I will get this shot. It's not really doing it for me. There's, there's three cars in the in the in the in the image as well, so um, I'm probably not going to be able to clone all of them out. So I might, I might just leave them in. Um, there is another photograph that I want. I am going to turn around and I'll just show you a picture of the the barge moored up here. I'm going to get a quick shot of these, and then. <coughs> I'm going to get onto the edge of the lock house and there's another house pointed up the canal that's covered in all ivy and everything which looks really nice so I'm now going to just take a photograph of these boats down there and it's just going to be a quick shot and then I'm going to just move up and I'll talk you through the next shot of the other house Here's the little scene with the boats. Uh, I'm just zoomed in a little bit. I think I'm at about 60 mil for this. And again, my settings are F11, ISO 100. And I'm loving the autumn colour still on the on the left hand bank. And we've got the boat and you can see the liner boats running down in the centre of the frame. Just a pretty little scene. So I'm going to get the shot and I'll put it on with the rest at the end of the video. Well, that's it for today. I'm, uh, I'm not going to bother with that last shot that I was uh, talking about. Um, just had a quick look. There's, there's a lot of people, there's a car just pulled up outside, so I'm going to give that one a miss. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. Merry Christmas to all my uh, subscribers and everybody who's watching and until next time, take it easy.